Another day in the frontal lobe, a brain surgeon exposes life on the inside. Katrina Furlick is a neurosurgeon. One of only 200 or so women among 4,500 alpha males who dominate this high-pressure, high-prestige medical specialty. She was the first woman to be admitted to her neurosurgery residency program at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. She is a surgeon's daughter, the oldest of four siblings. She was definitely influenced by her father and this led her to this rarefied specialty. It was always expected that she would become a doctor. But she didn't decide for sure until partway through her second year of college. Once in medical school her decision for neurosurgery as her specialty came very easily. Oliver Sacks's writing had a significant influence on her decision. She was also influenced by her college sweetheart who became her husband and who also chose to train as a neurosurgeon, he is not practicing now and they do not have children. Furlick found that she loved life on the learning curve and that her curiosity was broad. About her last year as chief resident she said. I have had my hand in saving lives and I have had my hand in helping to end them, I'm not talking about murder, of course. I am talking about helping people die. She is also a superbly gifted writer. Witty, insightful, at once deeply humane and refreshingly wry. In another day in the frontal lobe, Dr. Furlick draws on this rare combination to create a neurosurgeon's kitchen confidential a unique insider's memoir of a fascinating profession. She was able to write this book because she kept a journal during her training. Neurosurgeons are renowned for their big egos and aggressive self-confidence. Dr. Furlick confirms that dimity is indeed rare in the field. They're like the kids who never lost at musical chairs. A brain surgeon is not only a highly trained scientist and clinician but also a mechanic who of necessity develops an intimate, hands-on familiarity with the grey matter inside our skulls. It's the balance between cutting-edge medical technology and manual dexterity, between instinct and expertise, so appealing and so difficult to master. Furlick cracks open medicine's most prestigious and secretive specialty. Another day in the frontal lobe is a mesmerizing behind-the-scenes glimpse into a world of incredible competition and incalculable rewards. It is written in a way that is quite understandable for the lay public. I would recommend this book for students who are considering neurosurgery as a career choice. And for physicians who are neurosurgeons or who are interested in the specialty.